one of my favorite parts about life in the outdoors is spending quality time with friends and family and a lot of times that happens around a kitchen table. So with that in mind I decided to make up some pickled eggs. Uh, it's something that we always seem to do is have a snack before or after supper. Either when we get in, if supper's going to be a while, we bust something out or if we have an early supper it's usually later on in the evening. Either way, uh, pickled eggs will uh, definitely fill that spot. I did this a little differently than I normally do. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the video as short as I can. I'm sure everybody knows how to boil an egg and peel it. So I'm going to try not to get bogged down with details. We uh, threw all of our ingredients into a jar and poured the brine over. So this is how I did it and I hope you guys enjoy. longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so we're doing uh, pickled eggs today. I got everything all cut up and ready to go. I got some hot peppers, bay leaves, uh, regular black pepper, some sweet peppers, uh, red onions, a bunch of uh, boiled eggs, already boiled, cooled, peeled. I got kibasa, pepperoni, and a couple different hot dogs. So we're going to start with some onions down in the bottom of one of our jars. I can do one at a time. I'm definitely going to do two, maybe the third jar as well. But uh, I'm going to make one uh, a hot pickled egg and one just like a regular. So we get some onions down in the bottom, drop a few eggs in there. A clove of garlic, a couple of sweet peppers. This one's going to be uh, the regular, so I'll drop a couple pieces of kielbasa in there. And I'm going to cut up a couple of these hot dogs. I uh, brought these up to temperature just to make sure. Throw some of them in there. A few more eggs. And we're going to layer it up as we go. all filled up. I'll throw a couple eggs in on top of that, might just as well. Got a bit of space. Here we go, now we're going to uh, top these off with our brine. And this is, this is one third water, two thirds uh, vinegar and salt. I forgot to put pepper in. A little bit in each jar. And of course the longer we let these sit, the better they're going to be. Make sure you fill them up so everything's covered.
like I said, we'll just pop these in the fridge, let them sit for a while, and let everything soak in good. And uh, they should turn out pretty good in a four or five days.